Welcome to the Fem Prepper channel where women come to get information to be more prepared. In this video, I will go over some additional items that FEMA suggests you keep in your emergency kit. I have a video that goes over the 10 basic items that FEMA suggests you keep in your emergency kit, and these are additional items suggested. Let's get started. September is National Preparedness Month, and it's a great time to either go over the emergency kit you have or to get one started. FEMA, which stands for Federal Emergency Management Agency, goes out to different disasters and emergencies throughout the country to help and aid before, during, and after. September is National Preparedness Month, and it's a great time to either get your emergency kit started or go over the items that you have in your current emergency kit. Check for expiration dates or any items you may need to update or add to. The first additional item you will want to have in your emergency kit is some type of water filtration. FEMA suggests you store water, but you might need water for a longer amount of time or you might need a lot of water. Having a source to clean and purify your water is great to have in your kit during an emergency. Having items such as a Sawyer mini water filter, which is portable, or a Berkey water filter, which can stay in your home and filter out water for you. You will also want to possibly have some type of water purification tablets or have a camping stove in order to give you the ability to boil your water in case your normal stove is not working. The next additional item you will want to keep in your emergency kit are your prescription medicines. During an emergency or disaster, it may be very hard for you to get to a pharmacy to fill a prescription if needed. Adding a few days worth or even a week of your prescription medicine can help you to not have to go out and it will keep you as healthy as possible during an emergency. The next item you will want to keep in your emergency kit is bleach and an eyedropper. Bleach can be used to help purify your water. You will need to add a few drops of bleach with the eyedropper and I will give you the specifics of the amount that you should use for the amount of water you're looking to purify. Another additional item you will want to keep in your emergency kit are matches. Matches are very important to have in your kit because they are a fire source. Fire can offer you warmth. It can give you an option to cook your food as well. If you have the ability to get waterproof matches, those will probably be the best. You will also want to keep your matches in some type of waterproof container. If you don't have an actual waterproof container for your matches, you can always use your vacuum seal to vacuum seal the matches and make them waterproof and protect them. Other additional items you will want to make sure you have in your emergency kit are personal hygiene items. Keeping yourself clean during a disaster is a morale booster. You will want to try to stay as clean as possible. If your family is huddled together for long periods of time, you want to make sure that everyone smells as good as they possibly can during an emergency or disaster. You'll want to make sure you have deodorant, soap, toothpaste, toothbrush, and just other items you may need to clean yourself and your family. Other additional items you may want to keep are sleeping bags and blankets. Having the ability to stay warm if there's no access to heat will help you to be a bit more comfortable and a definite morale booster. 
You will also want to keep a change of clothes for all of your family members. You will want to have extra shirts, pants, underwear, and socks. These items will help you to stay clean. Just having clean clothes is a definite morale booster. Another item you will want to have is some type of a camping stove, whether it's a propane stove or a butane stove. You can even have a stove that uses wood to cook with. Having a stove and the proper fuel for it will give you the ability to cook and boil water if the water is unsafe. The next item you will want to keep in your kit are important documents. You will want to have copies of your identification, credit cards, passports, titles to your home, and insurance papers, among other important documents you will need. Having copies of these items will make your life easier if you need to provide them. Another additional item you will want to have is if you have an infant or a toddler. You will want to make sure that you have diapers, formula, and just their comfort items to make them happy during a disaster. Having these items to take care of your baby will make your stress level a bit lower. Last but not least, if you have pets, please remember to pack items for them as well. Pack food, leashes, collars, and even their crates if need be. Don't forget them as well. They're part of the family. If you have to leave, I promise they will want to go with you. If you have the proper items to make it so that they can leave with you and not have to leave them behind, I guarantee you will want to have that option. So don't forget about your pets. In the comments below, let me know some items that I may not have mentioned that you keep in your emergency kit that are additional items to help with your basic items. If you found any value in this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.